I would like to wear my hats like this to where there's no hair hanging out here. I think it looks, I think it looks slightly better. But I wear it like this with the hair out, which doesn't look as good. It kind of looks a little goofy, but I have this fear that by wearing it like this, I'm gonna pull my hairline back and my hairline's gonna start to recede. I don't know if that's true at all, but that's my fear. So I originally started filming today's vlog talking about what I plan to do to promote my YouTube channel and kind of grow it. But then I realized that I was even boring myself to death. So instead, I'm gonna talk about an experience that I had this morning and share a presentation about it that I kind of put together. And hopefully that's a little bit more entertaining than what I was talking about earlier because I do not wanna put you guys through that. I hope you enjoy my presentation. So this little presentation that I put together is meant to address an experience that I had this morning while laying in bed. So you see what happened this morning is my alarm went off at 6.30 in the morning like it has been the past few days. And I was supposed to get up and do my workout. And I stopped my alarm and the thing I did next was very dangerous. After I stopped my alarm, I laid back down in bed and I nearly went back to sleep. See that feeling that I felt, that feeling that was inside me in that moment was something we're all too familiar with. That's laziness. Now, lucky for me, I overcame that within a few seconds, I got right back up, got in my workout clothes, went out into the garage and did my workout. But I wanna address that feeling that I had. I wanna address that state that I was in and explain why I was able to overcome it and my thought process behind waking up every morning and working hard every day. Basically the idea is that there are three stages of dreams. There's a stage where you have a dream. This is a stage that most people find themselves in at some point in time. We all reach a point where we realize what it is we wanna do with our lives or something we wish we could do with our lives. That's our dream, that's having a dream. Now the only difference between having a dream and reaching the second stage, which is chasing your dream, is the amount of work that you choose to put in. That's the stage I'm in right now. You see, when you have a dream, you don't put in any work. You don't pour anything into it. That's an empty cup of water. There's no work that you poured into it because work is represented by water. In the second stage, which is chasing your dream, you pour in a little bit of work. You put in a little bit of work, a little bit of water, and you inch closer to reaching your dream, which is the third stage. you reaching your dream is where you pour in so much water that your glass is full. This is a stage that very few people find themselves in because it requires a lot of work, requires a lot of water. Now the difference between the three stages of dream, the only difference is the amount of water, amount of work, that was poured into each stage. And you see, the first stage, having a dream, that will never fulfill you. That will never satisfy your thirst. There's no water in it. It'll never quench your thirst for that dream that you have. The second stage, which is chasing your dream, now there's a little bit of water in there. You put in a little bit of work, but that, will never completely fulfill you. You might get a little taste, your tongue might get a little wet from the water and the work you put in, but you'll never be completely fulfilled. And the third stage, which is achieving your dream, now that's a full glass of water. Now that'll keep you hydrated at least for a little while and make you feel good and feel fulfilled. But an important thing to remember is if you drink too much of it, eventually you'll get thirsty again and you're gonna have to refill it back up with more work, more dedication, 
and just more and more and more until you can again reach your dream or at least continue pursuing your dream. Now for me and why that relates to me and the experience I had this morning is because I felt lazy this morning. For the first time since starting this vlog, I felt lazy. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to work. I didn't really feel like doing anything. I wanted to rest today. But what I had to remind myself is I just needed to pour a little bit of water into my cup today. I just needed to put a little bit of work into reaching my dreams because right now I'm in the chasing stage. I'm chasing my dream. I have very little water in my cup right now, but at least I do have water. In order to get to the third stage, I need to pour water every day. Every single day, I need to grab work and pour it into my dreams. Pour that water into my cup so that eventually I can have a full glass of water. And I'm not nearly there yet. So that's why this morning, I got out of bed. I reminded myself that I need to put in work, put in the water so that I get to where I wanna be. I feel like there's gonna be such great irony in the fact that a video about not being lazy is gonna be so much shorter than all my other videos. But I promise you guys that there was a lot of work that went on behind the scenes, which is why the video is so short, it's because I was working on some other things and I just didn't feel like making three videos in a row that featured me just doing so much work. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Excuse me.